Hey everybody, James Jager, Tap Response. Um, so when I come out to do a, a rough zero on a gun, I uh, typically use like a quality ball ammunition um, for the for the initial few shots. Just to, you know, if the scope's 30 MOA off, there's no use wasting match ammo for that. But what I have found is I can get a really good, good, really good group. Now this is not match, it's Fiocchi ball, but I can get a really good group out of it. And uh, so I came out earlier and started, uh, and I got a rough zero, and uh, there were ominous clouds above, and sure enough, sure enough, um, trying to do this where you guys can watch. It's awkward doing it this way. Um, uh, sure enough, it started raining on me. So now I have the gun in the back of the truck, trying to do the best I can to show this gun. Now I've already, I've already shot it and got a rough zero made. And uh, so, as you can imagine, it, it, some of you guys probably know, uh, the lighter the gun, the, the harsher the recoil. So there's, there's no difference with that, but do you carry it more or do you shoot it more? So I've installed the Galco Ching Sling, C-H-I-N-G, Ching Sling. If you watch my Scout series, you'll remember, not this exact one, but you'll remember the Ching Sling. And then I also uh, gorilla tape the ends, the sling studs, for two reasons. Number one, to make sure they don't unscrew and come out. But, but uh, the main reason is to make sure they're quiet. They're not clicking and banging. Uh, but generally, you put your arm through the sling like this. It has this loop in it. And then, and then it makes a very stable platform. A very, very stable platform. So this uh, loop hold. Scope is very nice. That was a 50, 100. I don't know if you can hear them smacking on this. My glasses are fogging up. Uh, I don't know if you can hear them smacking in this. I'll shoot a further one. Maybe you can. I don't know if you can hear that ting or not because the microphone cuts out a lot. But um, so Barrett Fieldcraft, stainless with a threaded barrel, 18 inch barrel, one in 10. Uh, I've got the rough zero down, but I'm just shooting steel right now because it's only <laughs> putting paper up wouldn't, wouldn't do me a lot of good right now to put it on, to get it, to get a good group. But I've got a, I got a rough group started with, with the ball. Shoot right in the middle. I got a um, about a, 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 a inch and seven a three quarters, or right at a two inch group uh, with ball ammo. So I'm expecting this thing to be like right out a minute with uh, with match ammo. And um, man, I like it. I've taped down this thing. You're, if you ask me, it's a it's the Torx. The same Torx head fits the scope base uh, and the rings and the, the ring the ring base and um, and so, uh, I know that it might seem odd, but I plan on taking this rifle to Africa and being somewhere and not having a, the right Torx head could could could, in, could ruin a great hunt. But I've got the, hopefully it won't happen, but I installed the tally base, Loctite cleaned everything, Loctited it, staked it. Uh, then I cleaned and Loctited all the screws and mounts and all that stuff. So hopefully there won't be any issue, but there always could be. It's, uh, that's kind of why I take these kinds of precautions. Right there, it's not my way doing anything, uh, anything I need to do. Um, so, um, I, I picked up a habit somewhere running bolt guns to push up. I kind of put it, and it puts this gun and most of them in a bind. And so I got to push more down and forward, especially forward when I'm running the bolt. If you saw me a minute ago, I had a little hiccup. That wasn't the gun. This gun is slick as glass. It's just a, that loose nut behind the trigger. <laughs> um, so, uh, loop hold, uh, uh, Mark 6, 1 to 6. And some of you guys might say that's that's not a lot of scope, only a 6 power. But come on, guys, it's a 308. I can I can smack stuff at six or 800 yards with it. And it's really, in my opinion, 308 is not really an ethical shot, even at 8. You know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't take that shot, um, personally. Even if I hit it, you know, even if I could guarantee a good hit but uh so again i'm so i'm out here in the rain i'm not afraid to get the gun wet or me wet uh but uh, the camera is a problem but so for um 
for part three, we'll get this thing dialed in, get it on paper, show you what it can do. Um, it, it the recoil is is sharpened by the lack of the weight. But I'm telling you, if you're going to carry this thing over and hills and and all that stuff, feeling a kick or two, not an issue. And again, I I'm just I'm not I'm not trying to tell you it kicks hard. It doesn't. It kicks like a 308. But if you're used to using like a, uh, a uh, like a, a my Midwest AR10 18 inch barrel gas gun, this heavy gun, you know probably weighs eight or nine pounds, maybe ten with the scope and everything on it. And this thing weighs a third that, so <laughs> you know it, it could could be problematic. But uh, I'll make sure my camera doesn't get wet. But uh, if you got questions about this rifle scope or any of the combination or this awesome Ching Sling, I'm telling you, Ching Sling, if you have a hunting rifle, that's what needs to be on there. Galco, Galco Ching Sling. This is James Jacob, Captain Spock, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.